Hey, buddy, it's Invicta. It's time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone out there who celebrates it here in the U.S. I hope that you all are having a fantastic start to your day with friends and loved ones and well-wishers and just enjoying the food, enjoying football, just having an overall fantastic holiday. Thanksgiving happens to be my favorite holiday of the year, in case you did not know. So hopefully right now I'm about to get ready for, well, I'm probably helping Mama Victa with uh, dinner preparations and stuff like that. So we did have another video across 3,000 likes, which now puts us at 199 over 210 as we get ready for the Glitch Chaos Run. Thank you very much for making that possible. And of course, if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I just hope you're having a great start to your Thursday. So no meme of the day just because it is a Thanksgiving holiday. I want to just go right in into it and this extra long episode, maybe. <laughs> well, your eyes do not deceive you. We are starting on greed because I just want to start off, you know, with a little, little, little bit of an appetizer, but unless if the greed run goes really, really bad, then we'll have a regular run after that. So... <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Okay. DJ is going to be Whiskey Charlie 3 Echo 9 Sip. Uh, well, we've got a uh, we've got terrible movement speed. We also have the Holy Mantle. And is this Weight What or Butterbean? It is Weight What. Okay, so Weight What's not too bad for Greed. We've certainly seen it, seen worse. Um, also starting with a Soul Locket, which gives us an extra Soul Heart. And every time we pick up a Soul Heart from here on out is going to give us a small amount of of stat ups it's nothing really too major but it can start balling out of control if you happen to get lucky uh with the soul heart generation we have no keys for that so unfortunately we just get a big old nothing out of that and we are on our way to start off this thanksgiving marathon here um again i would love to do two runs today if we can uh just really just to it really just kind of depends on how bad this run goes and uh if the game is going to start spawning stuff right on us Immediately, then uh, you know what? It's uh, not a good sign. <laughs> Although I do like the fact that the enemies are running into fires. That's that's kind of nice. Um, 2.04 tiers is pretty bad. Uh, 0.95 movement speed is really, <coughs> really, really bad. I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping this is not a sign of things to come for the uh, stat ups here. Wow, I cannot believe this fat this fat spider is still alive. We've hit it with so many shots now, and also like a ton of like. It feels like a ton of fissures from wait what? Trying to protect this bone heart from the holy mantle, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen because we do not have the movement speed or damage or tears rate to uh, facilitate getting out of here safely. So I'm a little bit, a little bit concerned. Yep, there it goes. So oh, we get a special double tap from all the egglets. All right. Yeah. So this is uh, this is pretty much a nightmare start in terms of uh, rooms for this lack of damage and tears rate. Luckily we've got. Dude, everything, everything is is popping off today. Um, yeah, we have the absolute worst possible combination of enemies to have bad tiers and bad damage with. Lots of really mobile, schmoving enemies versus really, really low DPS is not a good combo for us, especially when they move at just like the light speed of light. Yeah, we, we will not allow you to get more spiders in here. Uh, we lose the bone heart as well as one singular soul heart, which is um, not good. Not good at all. Uh, I mean, as much as I would love to buy a key here, I feel like we have to take the 9 volt now uh, just for the sake of, like, giving us a chance to just deflect everything. As crazy it might sound, we get, uh, we get car battery as well. So, yeah, the keeper is... Admittedly, going to be a pretty nice, pretty nice upgrade for us because it allows us to generate money and greed, uh, which is always very important, obviously. And having a supercharged weight, what is going to help us out with DPS as well as defense, because obviously you've got the Butterbean Shield slash Parry slash whatever you want to call it. Okay, so now it goes blighted ovum. What's going on here? The black, black gurglings. Okay. Yeah, they're just going to bomb themselves, I hope. So, bosses shouldn't be too bad here, as we are able to take down one of the Gurglings. Now, the 9 Volt is a very interesting upgrade for Greed Mode, because remember, we... The way that things work in Greed, they have different values <laughs> than, uh, than, regu than regular runs. Oh, okay. 
We have black pin as well. We are not going to be able to take a devil deal with this. I was hoping to go into the into the shop to go into our item room, but uh, okay, let's chill out here because this is getting quite ridiculous. This is not how we wanted to start off this Thanksgiving Thanksgiving uh, feast here of, of Isaac runs. Yeah, this is this is definitely one of the more challenging seeds that the game could have produced for us just based solely on our not great DPS. Uh, we have to go into the item room. We cannot afford not to. Unless, of course, we get Q baby. Okay, so we get our we get our soul hearts back, thankfully. I am going to risk this key to maybe get another key here. Or we get two bombs and all right. So that was floor one, everybody. Well, thankfully we don't need bombs for these. As uh wait what will allow us to go into I mean we we got a blessing there. Ooh. We got a blessing by getting our, our soul hearts back. So we're back to base starting health. And we get another soul heart there. Good. Okay. We got range and luck. By the way, soul locket can give you everything you need. And look at this. Speaking of everything we need, we have ourselves finally a good uh, good start here with the virus giving us a movement speed. And we could go back and buy a key, but I think we're just going to wait. But we could also search for... And there's no real reason... Not to search for the secret room. Could be off of any of these. Now the only the only kind of turd in the punch bowl is that it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see if we're hitting where the secret room is. You wanna try to hit the outer edge of the inner circle, if that makes sense. Um, if there is a secret room. It's really difficult to see whether or not I am actually hitting the edge or not. I'm just going to I'm I'm going to go ahead and pass on looking for it anymore, so Oof. Here we go. We can safely destroy these these uh, mushrooms without being subjected to bad gas like that right there. We can simply just hit him with the outer edge. There's definitely no reason not to do this right now, especially in the situation that we're in. <coughs> Love of coal is something else, and we are able to get an eternal heart, which I will take. All right, so Love of coal helps us out a little bit. A tad bit. You get another uh, another soul heart here, which gives us damage and shot speed. So I'm down for that. Okay, would you get a free key? That's good. Your dolly is an absolute must-have here. Yeah, okay, we got an extra cent. So we get lucky and get ourselves a free key, and we get the not, the 120 volt, which is not terrible. Not terrible at all. I don't think it's worth going in the curse room right now. But we're two cents away from at least getting a little bit of a start of a comeback here. The 120 volt is going to shock it. It's going to shock everything around us. And we want to try to maintain some sort of range on our on our targets just because obviously the scaling with the lump of coal is going <coughs> to excuse me work out in our favor. But at the same time, we don't really have a good accuracy rating right now because our again, our tears rate is just so so bad. 20 volt kind of kind of chaining across there. We are able to actually dispatch this wave quite quickly, so a little bit of a little bit of a reprieve and while we get started on the second floor worth of greed runs i want to go back to last week's question of the episode which of course was the infinity is sacred episode where i asked what is your take on trinity shield and again ooh, 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 ooh. 
Oh man, Black Hole. Black Hole is actually not terrible here, but we're gonna, gonna skip that for now. Yeah, what's your take on Trinity Shield? The most upvoted comment came in from James Smoller, 4707, who said Trinity Shield is a Trinity meh to me. And that's what I get for looking at the comments instead of seeing that the there's one extra little maggot that we had. Um, uh, the second most upvoted comment came in from Trashman D, also known as Bob's Brain Guy, uh, who said, having the ability to block where Isaac looks is an amazing ability to have. Honestly, Trinity's shield is just a controllable orbital. I love having it, but I will say if it had a range boost for blocking, I think it would be universally loved. And yeah, that's that's really the only bad thing I can think of about Trinity's shield. Other than that, it takes up the place, obviously, of a very valuable angel deal item. Um, it also basically is very unreliable when it comes to blocking sometimes, just because the hitboxes, the way that they work or sometimes don't work, are... Uh, very weird. And also, that was a very weird stop that uh, Dingle made there. I know that I hit him with uh, with Butterbean, but, like, I expect him to just keep on going. I guess I probably should have. There we go. We're getting a little cheeky here with the 120 volt and just dealing any sort of close quarter combat damage. Keeping him on screen at all times is important. But again, these are... Two bosses that we really don't want to see. So obviously getting uh getting Mr. Dolly helped out quite a bit. <coughs> Have to take a honeys after this. Uncle Holy Water, which is you no. Know, holy water is alright. I am gonna go into the curse room now and we get Guppy's head. Ooh, now Guppy's head supercharged on supercharged with uh the nine volt is something, but I'm gonna be honest, having having free bombs is just too good not to have. So the question becomes, do we take black hole or not? And I mean, black hole is not necessarily an item that I would say is uh Well, I wouldn't say it's great. It's okay. Not really sure if I'm hitting these. I'm pretty sure I am, but this is like Yeah, I knew it. I saw that grass there. Okay, okay, we got five more cents. I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, I don't think the black hole is good here either. I think that honestly, we just we stay the course with the. Uh, wait, what? Wow, we got another crawl space. And it is a it is a. Um, uh, friend zone, which I will take just because, you know, orbitals. I doubt we're going to get, like, the Beelzebub transformation, but you never know. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to Swallow Penny, obviously. Again, I'm, I'm pulling back here because I don't want to get hit by bad gas. Okay. I was trying not to make any sound during the commercial break, but trying to open up. I got a I got a fresh bag of honeys here. Alright. Absolutely. We have no damage to really lose in the first place, so taking taking skinny on mushroom is a no-brainer. Hmm. Coupon. The only thing I really want is um, okay. The only thing I really want is the latch key. Oh baby. Now that luck up that you saw right there was not the result of um, of us having the soul locket. That was just from latch key. You have to actually physically pick up the soul hearts in order for you to gain any benefit from it. Okay, Ace of Spades is not bad. I'm going to get rid of these rocks here just because I don't want them to be blocking uh, you know, our movement or our shots or anything like that. Yep. So we've gotten two guppy items out of uh, two curse rooms, which is kind of incredible. Nine lives obviously makes me feel a lot better about our situation now. We even get a soul of the lost. Okay. 
So the question becomes, do we hold on to the coupon for a free devil deal or not? I think what we do is we just let them all pile up and then we just blast them with Ace of Spades. And we don't have to worry about keys anymore. This is going to pick up all of our money, though, so we don't want to wait too long. Wait for one more wave and then just hit him with the ace of spades. I don't want to get too greedy here. Yeah, that's an absolute no go there. All right, so keys are taken care of. Took a little bit more damage than I would have liked there. I really don't see a, I don't see a, a scenario where we take coupon over. If we had car battery, it'd be different, obviously. What we need right now is damage. Literally nothing but shot speed. All right. We'll take movement speed because we just can't get anything else. Uh, want do we want the coupon here? Take a devil deal, I guess. And now we have the mobility. Actually, we have incredible mobility as I walk into shots left and right. But the third most, third most upvoted comment came in from Ronnie J, who said, "I definitely think there are items that." Get the underrate that get that underrated tag, but this one just definitely feels like one of the most Isaac items ever in terms of Trinity Shield. And Trinity Shield is just like it's not an item that I think anyone gets excited about, you know? Like I would like give me Dry Baby over over Trinity Shield any day. Give me sir, you have no more HP. I feel like Trinity Shield can definitely do a lot. If it just simply had a higher radius of blockage. To what my doctor said, this is the problem with me. I've got to say, we're getting some gnarly waves. Like, quad sister this. After the uh, ridiculous first floor that we had. Again, trying to utilize the best of our ability, uh, the range scaling that we get. And we end up getting the Angel deal, and we get Sacred Orb. Okay. Now you're talking my language. I just really wish that Soul Locket would give us something other than range and shot speed. Give us a heart. I mean, we... We have to take damage. We we do not have any. Oh come on! Uh, <laughs> is there any way for us to get a full charge here? You can try to look for a secret room. That one hurts, game. That one definitely hurts. And that also, honestly, is a good example of why, like, it's kind of difficult to say whether or not re-rolling is worth it in greed mode sometimes. I don't remember what was in here. Hey, man. Could be here, too, but... Wait. We have Swallow Penny. Is 
The Swallow Penny. With all this HP worth losing just to get Magic Mush, you bet your bottom dollar it is. Now that would have been that would have been one of those Invicta moments. Where you absolutely had the right to yell at me. All right. So we end up getting Magic Mush. Obviously, it's huge. Serious Liquid, also huge. Nice. I like it. Black Candida is, um, I wouldn't necessarily say worth it here. I mean, really, all Black Candle does is just give us, like, soul heart at this point. So I don't know if it was worth it. Now, the mine, on the other hand, would at least show us where the secret rooms are, and that could also let me practice hitting them with wait what. All right. Use the hangman card in here just because we have these rocks here that I'm not planning on destroying anytime soon. So you saw me use the butterbean parry there, as I like to call it. It's the diglet. Lust, I don't know what got into you, but you were moving way too fast, girl. Way too fast. And you see me use the parry there against the diglets just to keep their uh, projectiles away from me. And once you become proficient with it, I mean, you get you get a good amount of defense. Unless, of course, the game starts st starts staggering the shots on you. Okay, I don't know what's up with these black gurglings, but. As long as they bomb themselves, I'm fine with it. The real big question is, are we going to get Guppy from a Devil Deal, or will we just simply not get one? We can look at Holy Water, doing some damage there on Skolex. There we go. Head of the Keeper definitely paying off spades as well there we go that's what I want to do is combine holy water with the 120 volt the big deflection there on mr. Fred and get hit by the tiniest shot from the ad angel deal and it's seraphim okay all right all right I'm going to take the mine to see where the secret room is. There is one on this floor. And boy, howdy. Uh, we literally do not need Squeezy anymore. And honestly, I don't think Black Candle is the answer here. In before we get a Curse of the Blind, and then everyone says, ha ha, I told you so. For you. Double card, okay. Little damage booster there. Gotta say, uh, Soul Locket, you really, really bummed me out here. Now, this Two of Diamonds is not bumming me out. Um, there's no way for us to get any sort of real gains here, but we can definitely make some big ones on the next floor. I gotta say, honestly, we've, we've done a, a really good job at making a comeback here. Golden Bomb, okay, okay. I'm gonna get rid of Judgment just because he's in the way. More shot speed, which is fine. Okay, shot speed and luck again. Good. To break open the uh, golden heart there, and that's also fine. And we do not need Binky. 
Uh, I will take the I will take the PJs after we're done with this floor, though. Obviously, we want to take blanket. Blanket is just huge. Um, whenever we can. Tower card. So the goal the goal for this floor is to not spend any money until after we're done, and then use the two of diamonds. I don't remember where that was. There. Okay. It shouldn't take us that long to get to the coveted 50 cents that we need for uh, you know, maximum payout here. Two of diamonds. Yeah, like I said in the intro, I mean, I love Thanksgiving. Not, it's not only about the football, which I'm not really a huge fan of this season, but it's about the, you know, it's about the, the experience. You know, I get to go to Mama Victor's house and uh, have some good good food. You get to go to Papa Victor's house, have some good food. All that stuff is, uh, all that stuff is like, when you're young, when you're younger, you're like, you don't really appreciate like the holidays, like family holidays. When I was a kid, like I absolutely, I dis I just disliked them just because I'm like, mm -hmm. I'd rather be at home playing video games, you know? But hey, at least I'm out of school. Like that's how I looked at family holidays. But now it's like, these are the ones that like, I understand why people talk about, you know, holidays being so fun and so, so important. And in a way it's, you know, I think that's a, that's part of, part of growing up is learning that, you know, oh, Christmas isn't about all the presents and the, and the stuff you want from Santa. It's about like, no, it's about being together and seeing everybody. And, you know, I think that's, that's, that's why, that's why I enjoy about it. Anyway, we're going to take money equals power, obviously. Big damage upgrade here. Um, absolutely want blanket. Two of diamonds. All right, let's let it rip. You do not need squeezy. Spectral tears and flight is just gonna be fine. Um, we could still theoretically hurt ourselves and get <coughs> PJs. about all the back and forth here but trying to farm a little bit HP here or turn a little bit of HP into currency there we go okay back up to 70 cents we do not need active contrition or binky we're gonna take binky just for the size down okay hang on a second yeah mama mega uh okay Active Contrition doesn't turn into anything that we really, truly care about. I do want Glass Eye for damage. Damage is a must-have. Oh, my. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Ipecac. Ipecac doesn't really turn anything to, of interest to me either, so I think we'll stick with Spin Down, Spin Dizzle right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure Active Contrition doesn't break the tears cap. And Deck of Cards turns into Shovel. Okay. We can then create a forced crawl space. And just call it a big old waste of time. All right. So I'd say that was a really, really good floor for us. Um, we're doing all right. We have to say thank you to, I mean, definitely pay respects to Wait What. Because, man, that got us through some gnarly first couple of floors there. Justice card as well. I'm gonna hit myself just so I can get a stat up. That's more shot speed. All right. Thank you, game. On a floor here with Spin Dizzle and... Uh, see what magic we can make here on the first run purity I mean purity purity can be helpful as long as we don't take damage 
To add bombs doesn't turn into anything we really care about. Neither does Little Harbingers. As predicted, we are not going to get Guppy. But we do get the blue aura here, which is kind of nice with uh, Polyphemus. This is going to help us deal a large amount of damage very, very quickly. And we could stop the uh, we could stop the wave here for spin down to uh, get a little bit of extra possible rerolls. But again, there's not there's nothing really in the shop right now that's really a, a worthy spin down target. I also think we pretty much have this one wrapped up. Um, would have been nice had we gotten Guppy. Let's go ahead and just finish this one off here. Then we'll see what we get inside of the Devil Deal or Angel Deal. And you see that scaling there with Lump of Coal does absolute gangbusters worth of damage. And now it goes Pile. Now's the time I really wish we still had wait what? Yeah. That was a matter of time. Do get a devil deal and no guppy. Capricorn backstabber. Oh man, if we could only get Libra, but we do not have enough charges for it. And plus, I mean it's not like backstabber and Capricorn are like, you know, a bad thing. Um, I guess roll sad bombs. Okay, hang on now. You gotta forget me now. Now, the forget me now doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna get something better, but we can try to make another go at it and possibly get a better floor. Let's see. We do have a reroll machine. Okay. Okay. And a rock up here. So that is spun right there with the uh, roid rage. I know it hurt. It hurts. It hurts me too. Trust me. It hurts me to put down spin die, but you know, we, we kind of lucked into getting a forget me now. So we're going to do the floor again. And let's see if we can come up with a better result. I mean, we are guaranteed to get spun here. It's a very weird sentence to say when you think about it, but you know what? We're just going to roll with it. Stuff that you say in Isaac, you really shouldn't be saying anywhere else to make to make sense is a common occurrence in this game. And we're just letting, just letting Mysterious Liquid kind of do its thing here. <clears throat> but you, what you need to do, games, you need to stop spawning these spikes. Oh, we almost one shot Ragman. Look at the damage that we have here from the red aura of purity. We get one more shot at get, getting Guppy. Wow, that backstabber damage is just brutal. Round two for the stains again. But this time we have the power of friendship, anime, and backstabber on our side. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's not going to give us much of a damage upgrade because we already have a bunch of damage upgrades, but it will multiply however many, however many uh, damage upgrades we get from like other sources. So yeah, there's spun. Fighter Bite actually is not too bad here against Ultra Greed. Oh. <laughs> we gotta go Sulfur, dude. We just, we, we gotta. Gotta have Sulfur. I have mine too. Well, oh boy, what a, what a comeback that was. After a very scary start, we are, we are absolutely gonna get the huge dub. Oh my God. Greed's already dead. Uh, looking for a little bit of extra damage here. 
Demage for a money equals power. There we go. <coughs> Again, with this damage plus backstabber, it's just going to be insane. We only got one heart off of that. The only time we're head of the keeper is actually not a good thing because he you actually spawn coins near your target. And Ultra Greed obviously heals from them, but it's a negligible amount of healing that he gets from uh from our procs. So the holy mantle up from uh, blanket as well. We're just gonna go ahead and no hit Ultra Greed. And down he goes, so. There you go. Not a uh, not a bad first run. I got to say, I was a little bit scared in that first uh, first floor, but you know what? We did it. And again, just because it is Thanksgiving, we got to go for round two. Not in greed this time. We're just gonna do a regular a regular Eden run. But yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Click that like button if you're up for a second helping. The Binding of Isaac Victor. Hopefully, we get rewarded. Uh, Quebec Golf Mike one. Uh, Zero Hotel Sierra Tango. We're starting off with, uh, well, we got a Hero Font card and Small Rock, along with Glitter Bombs. So 2.95 tiers is not bad. 5.01 damage is fantastic. However, movement speed, though, and shot speed especially. Oh, my goodness. Woof. Um, let's go ahead and use the Wheel of Fortune card. Yeah. We can slowly blow it up along with the skulls. Okay, we got a key and a half red heart, so may not seem significant right now, but you never know. You never know on these first floors if we start getting like a lot of red hearts, especially with three hearts uh, for our HP, it can really snowball out of control in a hurry with sack rooms. We've all seen in the past. So five bombs also from glitter bombs is gonna be a huge help for us. Starter deck here and another soul heart. Uh, there's probably not gonna be a nickel here, but okay. <laughs> Their bombs gave us our bomb back, and Seagram is definitely over here. Our shot speed is just doo doo here. That's definitely going to be the question of the episode today. Is this going to be what is your favorite Thanksgiving? Uh, Thanksgiving. Let's say Thanksgiving food. It doesn't have to necessarily be like turkey or anything like that. Unless you know, if your family has a a non-traditional Thanksgiving. My, I mean, mine mine always has a traditional Thanksgiving, and I love it. What's your favorite thing to eat on Thanksgiving? Let's put it that way. That's a that's probably a, a nice, easier way of saying that. Honestly, this is gonna this is gonna sound a little bit weird to some people, maybe. But my favorite thing to eat on Thanksgiving is the turkey skin. I know, I know. It's I I sound like a, an absolute heathen, right? You thought I was gonna say like pumpkin pie or cookies or you know something like that? No, 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 no. My favorite thing to eat at Thanksgiving is the freshly out of the oven, crispy, golden turkey skin. I absolutely, absolutely love it. There's something about turkey skin that just like just the the crispness, the freshness. It just it tastes so good to me. Like I just I, I love it. It's my favorite thing. Not that Mama Victor doesn't make great turkey. She makes great everything, but man. Uh, so you saw me use a two of hearts there. Second second place is definitely probably pumpkin pie or no, 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 ham. Ham for sure. It goes turkey skin, ham, and then probably biscuits and then turkey. The three cents there. Now the question becomes, do we use the Hierophant card to try to go all the way here on this early sack room? <clears throat> I think we can go for one we can try to go for one tap to see if we get to the angel deal I'm not willing to lose all these soul hearts in the early going here and we got nothing okay 
Now, do we use one soul heart to try to get an angel deal item? I think that this is a guarantee. We we either get an angel room item or we get a soul heart. So this is worth it. Okay. And that's where we're, that's where we're done. Unless we get a red heart here from uh, the judgment. Did not. Any hearts were in here? Oh, I forgot that we had this red heart. Shoot. Shoot. Well, I mean, now we just kind of gotta. Because either way, we're coming away with 30 cents or seven soul hearts, and that's pretty good. I don't like losing all these soul hearts early on, but man. We can get them back or 30 cents. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. I, for I totally forgot about the red heart inside the secret room, so. Where the heck is the super secret room here? Not convinced of that hit, but I'll roll with it. Super Secret has got to be over here then, right? Yeah, it's definitely over here. All right, so huge first floor here for us. Definitely way better than that greed start, that's for sure. I'm uh, going to stick with starter deck, or uh, deck of cards, and we'll head on down. We could have gotten starter deck, though. Oof, already tempting me with another sack room here. Oh, man. I do want to play it, but I also want devil deals. Okay, we get Guppy's head again. Uh, this time I am going to stick with Guppy's head, as that is going to give us a large amount of damage early on here with 5.01 damage. is going to help supplement our DPS quite a bit. And if we end up holding on to uh, our flies, we'll be able to get a respectable amount of damage on the boss eventually. The golden key, okay. We need some movement speed badly. Oh my goodness. This is a blessed holiday indeed. We get the wafer. Now there's no excuse for us not to play the, the sack room. I still kind of want devil deals though. Wafer from floor two is going to have all of our damage, including damage that we take on the sacrifice room, no less. Meaning that we only need six hearts to play it to completion, uh, which is huge value. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Fine. I'll go play the sack room game. Let's go see how you scam me out of this one. Secrets to the left of there, by the way. Right underneath the uh, curse room. Here we go. So again, notice how we're only taking a half heart of damage instead of a full heart. That's because of the wafer. And that is quite the value. Our soul heart back and our half red heart. Uh, excuse me? And Uriel just ate all of our flies. All right. Yeah, so we traded essentially... Well, we got... We got kind of screwed on a little bit there. Um, we traded, what is that, four and a half soul hearts? Four and a half soul hearts for 30 cents. That's really, really good. Especially if you're talking about, like, equivalent exchange of, like, you know, value, then soul hearts at, at their base value is five cents each. So we made we basically made 10 cents on all those soul hearts. Get a bomb here as well so we can go back and get this tinted Raku. Also get the treasure map, which is nice. Now you know what? Let's go. Let's go into the. Let's go in the secret room. Maybe there's bombs in here. There's not. Yeah, we've already been over here. What am I doing? It's pure reflex. <clears throat> let's go back to that uh, room and get this tinted rock. <coughs> and I mean, I guess we could take the reverse magician card. would constitute a room that we do not need to be in. Get a little cheeky with Pink Haunt there and just one-shot him. We do finally get a Tears upgrade. I say finally, but we get a Tears upgrade, which is great. And our devil deal is not. All right. Thank you, Stanley. Ah. 
and gonna plow the guppy flies right on in <clears throat> to our target. Now I didn't actually want to see a bone heart there, but kind of picked it up in mid stride. This map looks like a like a dog with a really long nose. Is anyone else seeing that? Am I going crazy for thinking that? Might be crazy. I look, it's it's been a while since I've eaten. Uh, my brain my brain is anticipating. I mean, obviously I'm not recording this on Thanks. Not recording this. Not recording this on Thanksgiving, but I'm like just anticipating Thanksgiving. There's a tinted rock right there, by the way. Oh man, like the, the crispy turkey skin is just like surely I cannot be the only other person or the only person in the world who thinks so highly of the of the crispy turkey skin, right? I'm not talking about eating it with anything. I'm not talking about slicing it up, putting it in like a salad or any of that stupid stuff. I'm talking about like just eating it, just peeling it right off the turkey as soon as it gets out of the oven while it's still hot and fresh and crispy. Oh, man. I know, here come the here come those Invictus got terrible food takes. Whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. You don't have to agree with my food takes. It's not like I said like turkey is terrible or something like that. I'm just you know, I just like crispy turkey skin. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not gonna be bullied for what I like and don't like on the eat. Four bombs here. Um the room cannot be to the right of here. I still think it's gonna be a it's gonna be to the left of the boss trap room. Yeah. Wow, we get an eternal heart from the glitter bomb. Might as well blow up this. We'll get our nickel back too. As far as like foods that like I dislike the most on Thanksgiving, I actually really like the smell of stuffing, but I don't I don't like eating it generally. And that is because it has one of my most hated vegetables of all time, and that is celery. I absolutely cannot stand the smell of celery. It reminds me of this plant that we had in Bermuda. I've talked about this before over the year. I've talked about everything over the years. <laughs> it reminds me of this plant that we had in Bermuda called the sting nettle. And I know that they're not just localized specifically to Bermuda, but they were very, very, very common in our backyard. And if you got stung by one of them, it hurt. And they smelled when they were chopped up or mowed the lawnmower or something, they smelled exactly like celery. To me anyway, and I hated it. Yo, Chubb, you need a you need to chill out, girl. You need to take a chill pill and a half. You know what? Hoping that we get a speed upgrade here somehow. And Marrow again. Another double deal and another seven seals. All right. All right. Go ahead and pass on that. You know what? You can keep that marrow too. We already have one holy mantle. Sacrifice room. Just going to have to start playing it here because... Like, we have the wafer. Like, that's great. I'm happy. I'm happy that we have the wafer. I really am. Love that for us. But we need to start getting some more significant upgrades here. Again, another kind of off spot for the secret room. But I guess it makes a little bit more sense than that last one. <coughs> I remember every heart that we get is going to be two taps on the sacrifice room thanks to the wafer. So, again, that's going to that's gonna lean heavily into... Our strategy here. I love the I love the smell of stuffing. I don't like the taste of it. Now, I'm lucky because I have Mama Victa, and Mama Victa, she she treats me as special. A Mama Victa's little boy, and she sometimes makes me stuffing that doesn't have any celery in it. I love. I think I just love bread. Is really what it comes down to. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the biscuits. Mom makes those those flaky biscuits, you know, and they're not like anything. Like she doesn't like hand make them because she's got way too many other things to make. But she just buys like Pillsbury Grands or whatever they're called, and man, but that now now I will admit 
I will admit, and this is something that y'all can make memes about if you want to, because I don't care. I will admit, I, one of my favorite, another one of my favorite weird combos that I just love, and I know it's weird, but I don't care, is I love having the Pillsbury Grands, the flaky biscuits, with ketchup. I know, I know, I know. I eat ketchup with turkey. I eat ketchup with my biscuits. <coughs> it just, it gives you that nice balance of tanginess that I think most people substitute with cranberries with. Oh my god, that was the most that was the most refreshing and like awesome contagion explosion I think I've ever seen. Look at that. I will readily admit I don't mind getting roasted for my choice of ketchup on flaky biscuits. I don't care. Look, don't knock it till you try it, all right? I want to see I want to see pictures for those of you who do celebrate Thanksgiving. I want to see you with a picture or at least not like you you but like let's see I want to see you holding up a picture of you eating or have already taken a bite out of a Pillsbury Grands and tried some ketchup on it and you tell me how you liked it. That's that's your homework of the day, all right? I want to see how many people I can convert to the the church of Pillsbury Grands and are they called Pillsbury Grands? I don't even know. Hang on. I, I need to look this up. Hang on. I'm doing this live. Pills, Pillsbury Grands. <coughs> flaky layers. Is that what they're called? Not the one. Yeah. Yeah. It's just flaky layers. Not the ones with butter. Don't get those. Those are tainted. All right. Can't be getting the ones with the artificial butter. You got to go for the ones. They're just, they're called, they're called Pillsbury Grands flaky layers. Get those. I want to. I want you to try that and then tell me that that ain't good with like a Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, don't worry, I'll wait. Well, I'm not gonna wait in this video, but I'll wait till they show up on Reddit. Look, everybody, everybody loved Mama Victa's uh, ham, egg, and cheese, right? This is just gonna be a new chapter for you. you get a new chapter. These, it's freaking. I'm gonna get rid of this rotten heart just because I don't feel like walking back here. Um, God, these devil deals. I've been something, something to behold. Yeah, so I mean, you know, and I, hey, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Sinvicta doesn't always have bad food takes, okay? I admit that my palate is sometimes pretty simple, and that's fine. I don't mind being a simple dude. I enjoy the simple things in life. But all I'm saying is before you decide to just blast me for having like, oh, God, here we go. This is like the worst thing ever. Nah, just try it. Like, just try it. Seriously, try it. It's great. I promise you, you might even be surprised at how good it is. <clears throat> just like the Invictus sub. Hey, there's no veggies on that. It's just all meat and cheese, baby. But you know what? A lot of people really enjoyed it. I like, I like these these Thanksgiving Thanksgiving food tangents we go on. Uh, still sitting at .88 speed. I don't know if that's ever going to change at this point. .88 speed. Um, would love to get an actual devil deal to use, like, and not like you know, hot garbage that we've been seeing for the last two runs now. Um, yeah, even the greed run didn't have great devil deals. In fact, the only time that we had a good devil deal was after we took chaos. And we got backstabber. So yeah. Gonna need to do a little bit better than that game. I actually think that I think Pink Eye is actually slightly better here. That was an amazing dodge, by the way. Uh update on community submissions, everybody. So people were asking. Uh, where do they send them to? Again, it's Invicta316 at gmail.com. Please, please, please only send it to there. If you send it to anywhere else, they will not be seen. I promise you. Um, we've already started getting submissions rolling in now. Uh, and just again, as a quick reminder of the requirements, uh, please keep everything in English. That way we, don't, we know exactly what strategies you're going with. I know that, like, you know, 
some people are like, oh, like, what about other languages and stuff? Listen, listen, it's an English channel, okay? I only speak English. I can only understand English. That's just how it goes, all right? Um, the <laughs> angelic prism. Uh, another one, obviously, another prerequisite is no swearing, obviously. Uh, no talking about stuff that I normally wouldn't talk about. You know, religion, politics, etc., etc. You all know the score by now. Uh, and, uh, and also try to keep them around 30 to 45 minutes, max. Um, I don't, <coughs> I don't really want to watch an hour long run. Um, I might have to like speed through stuff up. And, uh, another, another thing that I forgot to mention the last time we talked about this was no editing. Um, if you, if you do not record with a microphone, 99% chance you probably won't get selected. Just because I want to hear commentary, especially if you have your own YouTube channel and, uh, you know, you really want to sort of have your personality shine a bit. I think that it would just be kind of boring if I'm just watching Isaac and not listening to the strategies that players are trying to do. You don't have to take it like Uber. You can take it as seriously as possible, but I prefer everyone to kind of take a little bit more of a, uh, a measured um, take on, on what's going on. Like, I want to, I want to see you actually try. Um, and and say you know go for a challenge go for this go for that whatever you're just trying to improve something because those are going to really be the more the more entertaining runs that people can kind of relate with you know like you're having problems with tainted jacob you're having problems with blue baby or, or whatever whatever have you um so you know try to take it a little bit seriously i don't want to i don't want to make it seem like it's a high pressure situation or anything like that um but i would like to see some some active trying going on um and, uh, and yeah, and then no editing. Um, you know, if you do happen to record, if you don't feel comfortable on a microphone and you feel the need to substitute your voice with like, you know, with text and that sort of thing, that's fine. Again, I probably will not take anyone who submits videos without a microphone though. You can believe it, we actually have a chance of making boss runs. I feel like we're moving so slow on this run. Very happy that we have at least another maxed out tiers rate, but uh, if we can get some friggin' damage, that'll be cool. Very happy that we at least got stopwatch, so we have some movement speed now. But you know you're slow whenever, like, you know, you know you're going slow whenever after you get a movement speed upgrade, you're still in the ones. Like the 1.11s. One oh, thank you. Thank you, Glitter Bombs. The steam cell here. I have a feeling that Mom is going to be down south. I don't know why I'm bombing through this, because we don't actually have the Fool card, so there's no real point in rushing here unless we see our Fool card somewhere. I'm just, just, I'm just like, super shocked that we even get a chance... To have boss rush here because I was not expecting that. It's contagion absolutely owning this room. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's that after course, after course gas right there. And I'd be absolutely incorrect because that is not the right way to mom. Uh, just gonna dip in here real quick to see if there's the tinted skull, and there's not. So holding out hope that we can find it. There it is. Okay. All we got to do now is just get the full card and blast our way to mom. You don't understand. We don't have time for this. We did get Nun's Habit, which is going to allow me to get a lot of uh, charges on Guppy's head. I think we're going to get denied by Chubb, though. Let's see. We got 10 seconds. That's not going to happen. Not without bombs or something. Well, we made it. We made. We gave it the old college try. This damage, this lack of damage is truly, truly heinous. Like, it's not like, even if we took the negative, we'd only be at six damage. And that is not, 
That is not enough damage for me to feel comfortable going to him with. Especially when we keep taking this kind of damage from, like, you know, the... The, the blue mom. Let's try and utilize uh, Angelic Prism. Get some of those multi shots off. And we didn't even get a devil deal. So go ahead and take that. I mean, thank God we have the wafer, obviously, but like, oof. That was, that was rough. All right, now the fun part is we get to go back and get all the stuff that we skipped. There's no reason for us to go in there. Now the steam sale, steam sale that we got from greed is going to help us out greatly. Uh, I will go into the curse room. This only costs us one soul heart. Okay. Seeing how quickly it's piling up here with these uh, guppies, guppies flies from guppies head. My God. Three black pins. Did that pin shoot twice? I think I saw that pin shoot twice. All right, we know there's not a greed fight in here. and There's also not really anything in here, but I will take the soul heart. And at least we can make some deposits here. Might as well take Bogo bombs because we are short on bombs. Oh my goodness, we are over $7.25 now. Wow. I know I keep saying it, but like it really does feel good to restore balance to our donation machine. Uh, Super Secret might be here. It could also be there. We only have one bomb, so I'm just going to save it. All right. Well, we know where we're going. We've been having a lot of submissions come in for the uh, for the community stuff that we're going to be doing for the streams. Again, as a reminder, these are not going to be taking place here daily. I Isaac episodes here on the main channel. Um, they are only simply going to be strictly live streams. So you don't have to worry about, you know, not having your daily Isaac content here. That's still going to happen. Um, as far as, like, where the streams are going to be archived, they're going to they're be archived here on the main channel as well. And uh, as far as how long the streams are going to be, that I don't know. I kind of have to wait and see, like, what the climate is and what the reception is going to be. Climate as in, like, the, you know, the reaction from people. Um, before I can gauge, like, you know, is this worth doing for more than, like, two hours or something like that? Conceptually, what I was thinking is I was going to do, like, one or two, maybe three user-submitted runs, depending on the length. And that'd be good. And then go back and just, like, you know, talking about the runs. And, uh, you know, hopefully they're... Hopefully the people who submitted them are, like, in the chat. That would be ideal. But, of course, you don't have to, you don't have to be present. Um, as the VODs are still going to be there. I'm going to make sure there's no copyrighted music used, obviously, because, you know, some the, the live streams where I don't care about 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 the them getting copyright not struck, but uh, content ID mashed. Yeah, I'll just I'll let the I'll let the Metallica flow, baby. But obviously, I want these I want these to be able to be searchable. I want them to be, you know, I want people to be able to find their games if they did submit. And uh, I want it to be something that people really look forward to every single week. That is the ultimate goal here. And for the people who don't like the concept, well, you don't have to watch, do you? You can, you can very easily not watch. It's not going to be... It shouldn't be pushed to your feed unless I'm actually live. Oh, wow. With the compass. Yay, long legs. And wow, that is not a lot of damage. We just plowed like 15 flies into Daddy Long Legs, and it took him to maybe half health. Thank goodness we have the stopwatch, man. 
and the wafer. The wafer is the big, the big uh, play here. Wow, we, we couldn't even kill him before his head came down, and we end up getting an angel deal. Uh, I mean, active contrition again. It doesn't do anything for us, so kind of rough out here, Sarge. I do have to say that it is kind of a disappointment with just how bad these uh, these devil deals and angel deals have been. I kind of want to use the arrow rune, but at the same time, I kind of don't because we have the chest coming up and we got plenty of keys. More keys than we would ever possibly need. So unless we get really low health, and uh, we just like are in lots of trouble. Like I don't think, I don't think that we're gonna use our soul. Heart, or we're gonna use a Yara, the Yara rune on a bunch of soul hearts and stuff. You know what? You're just taking way too long to kill, and I just can't be bothered. And this room is also one of those I just cannot be bothered with. But we can bomb our way into the to the boss trap room. Never mind. No, we can't because there's a random greed fight in here. Hoping that the poison from Contagion was going to hit Greed. There we go. Although that came from Dead Tooth, of all things. Again, if you have this luxury to just bomb your way through doors, do it. There's nothing stopping you. There is quite literally no benefit to clearing those rooms other than just not wasting time, but it's going to cost you time. Um... You know, then you also have like annoying mobs. You have like you know random damage that can happen. It's all about just minimizing risk. We had a lot of gifted subs on last week's stream for the not sponsored stream. Uh, and if you were again one of those lucky members of the mosh pit who did get gifted a sub during the live stream, definitely come on over to the Discord. It'll be great to have you there. We got our Pokemon cards channel. We got Dungeons and Dragons. We got mobile game stuff for those of you playing Warcraft Rumble or any other mobile games. I love me some gacha games. And uh, we have a Pokemon Go group where we actually do raids and stuff. Um, I invite people to the ones that you know don't locally require you uh, to be there to be present. It's a good time. It's a great, great, great place. Lots of lots of good folks there, and we haven't. We only have like a really a, a small group of people who actually like talk in the Discord, and I'd like to change that. I'd like to I'd like to really encourage some more discussion. Um, and if you think this is some ploy to become a Discord partner, I have literally no interest in becoming a Discord partner. The last time that I, the last time that I was applying for a Discord partnership, they said that I didn't use Discord enough and I didn't talk enough. Like there was not enough activity in my server. Like man, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Tried to catch it. Um, I was like, yeah, okay, dude. Whatever you say. Like, it's just Discord. <laughs> I do find stuff that has, like, requirements like that a little bit silly, because it's like, okay, well, so you want... You want the server to be more active, but you're not... Gonna have people encouraged to join the server, which would partnership would be at the time. Anyway, this is like many years ago. Um, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Yeah, we'd love to see you on the Discord. It's very easy. Just connect your Google account along with your Discord account. And if you are an, if you have an active membership, not sub, but an active membership here, like as in like the paid membership on YouTube, then uh, there's an easy way to join the Discord. One of the cheapest ways too, other than the Patreon. Patreon is definitely the cheapest and easiest way, <coughs> excuse me, to get in the Discord. And we're going to get Mom's eyeshadow. Hmm. So the cursed penny is interesting because, remember, we have this we have this ability to kind of teleport anywhere and randomly. 
I don't know if it can take you to the I Am Era room. That would be pretty sick if it could. But you give me an opportunity to like to just skip most of the cathedral, I'm uh, I'm all ears. In fact, we should go back into that into the mob trap room just to see if there is a bunch of coins in this chest. If there is a chest in there. <laughs> okay. We can either use glitter bombs and try to get a penny to get out of here, but chance of us getting a random penny from one bomb is going to be kind of stretch, but I'm, you know what? I'm willing to do it. Maybe this one will have a penny. Oh! oh. Skirt! What? We have Black Candle again! No! <laughs> I did it again! <laughs> uh, the last time... The last time I actually wanted to use Cursed Penny in the way that I just attempted, we also had Black Candle in that run. I was like, why did we not teleport? Oh, yeah. Because for once, Black Candle was working against us. I cannot believe that we have gone through an entire run without getting a single damage upgrade again this week. Wow, that was only the second wave. I thought that was the third wave, dude. Oh my gosh. Well, at least Mom's eyeshadow is making them nuke each other here. All right. Well, Curse Penny, I'm sorry that you got you got counterfeited once again by uh, Black Candida. I'm gonna have to say, see you later. Oh, I don't know where our I don't know where Dead Tooth went, and honestly, I don't care at this point. Yeah, see, Hangman card, I didn't want you. I just wanted the Yara rune. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to have to go back in that room and go get my Yara, Yara rune. Okay. What I need you to do is just never, ever show up ever again when I don't need you. Kane's Eye, I mean, might, we might as well take it. Colonel Heart, that's fine with me. <clears throat> Blue Famine is not fine with me, but he should drop a Soul Heart. Again, the real MVP here is going to be the Wafer. Because I got to say, surviving this long without the Wafer on zero damage upgrades, even though it is something that we've done before, it is, uh... Yeah. Not not phenomenal here. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a fun, it's a funny, funny joke here, game. Oh, thank you. Mind uh, opening up this judgment a bit? Yeah? Yeah? I even let you hit me. I'll let you hit me. Yeah, but you gotta explode those seeds. That's the thing. The health upgrade, that's fine. Alright, so this should take about... Well, until maybe next Thanksgiving. Top five Thanksgiving foods, followed by the bottom five that Mama Victa, or any, I don't want to sing out Mama Victa. Let's say any traditional Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving meal has. Top five in order. Number one, crispy turkey skin. We already talked about it. Number two, definitely the the ham. Egg ham is just, I love it. It's, it makes the best leftovers. Number three, gotta, gotta put my... My grand's, my grand's layered with ketchup on there. Number four, definitely pumpkin pie. Number five, 100% uh, either mashed potatoes or turkey. I love the turkey. The way that Mama Victor makes it so good. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say turkey for number five. Mashed potatoes is a, an honorable mention at, at, at number six. Then the bottom five, my most hated, obviously. I already kind of talked about it, um, celery. Of any kind, but if we're not including celery, and it's got to be like, it has to be like, you know, well, it's not just celery. It's you're you got to talk about the stuffing. I'd say green beans. Mom likes to make either green beans or or asparagus or peas. So any one of those three. 
Whichever one she decides to make, I hate them. So asparagus, peas, or green beans. You, you, can, you can keep all of them. Uh, second most disliked Thanksgiving Thanksgiving uh, entree or appetizer, whatever you want to call them. Yams. I'm not a big fan of yams. Sweet potatoes? Nah. nah just give me regular potatoes. Even with the marshmallows on them, I just can't do it. I'm just, nah, that's not for me. Um, third, I guess I'll put stuffing there, only if it has celery in it. Fourth most disliked Thanksgiving food. Um, I don't really like apple pie. Mom sometimes makes apple pie, and I'm just not really a big fan of it. I know a lot of people love apple pie, and that's great, but, like, I don't. <laughs> wow, this is just... This is this is truly unbelievable. I mean, I'll take Mongo Baby, I guess, but man, that is like do I don't even want I don't even want dead onion for the piercing because like it's gonna destroy our shot speed. Our shot speed's already just terra bad. Um Yeah, not a fan of not a fan of yams. And what I say? I said yams. I said, I said any of the any of the combination of the green beans, asparagus, or peas. Uh, and then the stuffing with celery. Fourth most disliked. I don't really dislike it that much, but I also don't like them that much. Oh yeah, apple pie. That's right. And then the fifth one is the the fifth one. Honestly, okay. First off, let's stop getting let's stop getting hit in this room. How about that? It's going to be an unpopular take, but I'm going to say cranberries. I love cranberries. I love cranberry juice. Big fan of cranberry juice. I do not like the canned or the uh, sliced or like the like the candied uh, cranberries. I just don't. But not for me, man. I don't like eating fruit with meat. We absolutely would have died in this run if we didn't have wafer. I mean, I'm playing pretty sloppy right now because, like, we're just we're on the home stretch. But man, wafer was a was a godsend in this run because, oof, man, we're not like the thing is like we're not even done yet. Like, we're not we're not home free here. I want to make sure that I emphasize that even with having the stopwatch. The combination of our movement speed and lack of damage is actually still actively killing us. I do love me some cranberries. I just don't like... I love cranberry juice. I just don't like cranberries. Um, I, I really, really strongly dislike the canned cranberries. The one that's like that looks like, you know, just a can of red gelatinous jelly. Not a fan. Not a fan. Now, Mama Victor loves that, but I don't. Definitely not a fan of that. Um, I I implore you to to definitely try at least try my weird biscuits plus ketchup combo. Now it might just be a British thing because obviously I was born and raised in a British colony, so maybe that's where I got my love of bread and ketchup. Um. I know it's not for everybody, and obviously not every British person does that, but that's where I think that originates from. I just got in the habit of doing that when I was a kid, and, like, man, do I love it. It is a little bit difficult to say that I like it more than turkey, though, so maybe I'll switch those up. Maybe I'll put turkey at, turkey at number three and then the biscuits with ketchup number four. Gosh, dude, these rooms... This was maybe, maybe one of the hardest Isaac runs I've seen in a while if we didn't have the waiver. I mean, that was rough. We, we got through it for sure. We got through it with relatively surprising speed considering, man. That was, that was something. So thank you for watching, everyone. Again, I hope you enjoyed this extra large episode of 
our daily Isaac content here in the mosh pit. One hour and 20 minutes. And uh, we ain't done yet. I don't know how that bomb went behind us, but you know what? That's Isaac, baby. So look, look how crazy that the psychic shots can, the, the Spoonbender shots can uh, follow Isaac. It's madness. So thank you for watching, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Like I said, I hope you all are enjoying it, enjoying football, enjoying dinner, enjoying with food, family, and loved ones. As always, I'll see you all next time. Remember, your question of the episode is, what is your favorite? Give me your give me your favorite and least favorite Thanksgiving item that you have every every single Thanksgiving. Like, make it, just assume it's a traditional one. Or if it's maybe non-traditional, then put us in the comments down below. Top three most upvoted comments get read on next week's episode. Remember, send those submissions to Sinvicta316 at gmail.com. Don't send them anywhere else. They will not be seen. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the patrons of mine like Newborn God, Myth Withy, and Dakota Taylor. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta. 